who are the voices of moderate Islam, who are the voices that can push back, take back Islam from the radicals. And I think at the center of this debate is an issue of free speech, an issue of those who have the strength to push back against those who say that those of us who want to reform for the equality of men and women, who want to speak out against violent jihad, who want to speak out against not only ISIS but all Islamic states, who reject blasphemy laws, apostasy laws, who believe in secular governance, and who believe that ideas do not have rights but only human beings do, which is actually the only way to fight the, the blasphemy laws of Islamophobia and all these other nonsense terms thrown about by countries like the Organization of Islamic Cooperation that try to suppress the real debate that's happening within Islam that those who believe in freedom and liberty are trying to push back against. So far, our strategy has really been just to counter the extremists, whatever that is, those who are militant. But we need to work with Muslims who are for liberty, who are for freedom, that will replace that desire for Islamo-patriotism with a desire for patriotism for America, for Britain, for France, for Belgium. What is most important is to realize that there's a battle going on right now in communities. If you look for the first time, you had a cell that went and saw safe harbor in Belgium, in Molambique, uh, and in a community in which was protecting it from the security services of Paris, of the entire EU, and they were able to commit two acts of terror separated by four months, not only just because of a militant ideology, but a community that was harboring them, that believed they lived in the land of Islam within the land of war that they view the West and secular societies as. That problem can only be solved by Muslims. We've been you know, working with groups like Gatestone who believe that the solution is within Islam, but Muslims need tough love. And America, I will tell you as an American, that this concept that my parents felt more Muslim in America than anywhere else in the world because of religious freedom, religious liberty, and the separation of mosque and state, and the sense that American identity is bound to that freedom of speech, freedom of religion. In Europe, I think they have a much harder time assimilating because their identities are more racially land, historically based, rather than immigrant freedom ideology based. So I think these are the issues as we counter radical Islam, we have to promote liberty and counter political Islam and educate America as Gatestone does and we've been doing at the American Islamic Forum that until we finally educate Americans that there's a direct link between radical Islam and political Islam and you can't defeat one without defeating the other, we are never gonna see a solution to where our homeland is safe. For someone who loves my country, I will tell you that we'll continue to fight the fight. We formed the Muslim Reform Movement, which believes in these ideas that I mentioned to you at the beginning. We formed a coalition, left and right. This is nonpartisan. We advocate for women's rights, gay rights, for the belief in the nation state, strong national defense, and the defense of free speech. And these rights can only be defended within and against the Islamist movement by Muslims who are reformers. So I'd ask people to go to muslimreformmovement.org, to go to aifdemocracy.org, our website for our think tank, to go to gatestoneinstitute.org, and to help us get that declaration out and hold Muslims accountable to what's in that as the firewall to define those Muslims that are with us versus those Muslims that are against us.